What is up, guys? Floodmon or Teen here. And we're back with another episode of Yu Gi Oh! Nightmare Troubadour. I had started this recording just right after the last one. So, uh, last time we basically returned to the LP after quite a long break. But, um, yeah, we're going to continue the dual puzzles. So, let's get right into it. Uh, dual puzzle number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Attack is the best defense. Let's do it. Winning this turn. Let's do it, guys. Ah, interesting. Attack is the best defense. So we got shield and sword here. Ah, and we got three boosters here. Hmm. Okay, well, first of all, I think playing Midas Radiant is incorrect. Because if we do it, he has Giant Soldier of Stone. So, now, first of all, like, I know I haven't done anything in this duel. But let's play Shield and Sword. I'm pretty sure that's the correct move, regardless. Okay, so switch everything to attack. Yeah, so right now, Elf can crash with Stone Soldier. Toon Alligator can take out Dark Rabbit. And Ryukushin... Ooh, can't... Okay, so this is the problem. We can't take out King of Yami Makai. Okay. How do we do that? Because it's got 2,000 defense. Ah, I think the solution is Starboy. It has to be Starboy because... Yeah, none of his monsters are boosted by water. And plus, he has 1050 left, so that'll... Yeah, that will... should be enough to direct attack him. So let's try it. Let's just try this. Okay, so Toon Alligator has to attack Makai. This has got 2,000 defense due to Shield and Sword. There we go. Gator Slice! <laughs> Alright. Uh, but yeah, how are you guys doing today? Uh, today is still June 9th, 2020. 22. Okay, we'll have Elf, Mystical Elf, and Stone Soldier crash. That's funny. Two of Yugi's iconic monsters crash away with each other. Alright. Now, can Ryukishin take this out? It can, it can. Good. Yeah, 12 against 11, and that should give us the win. Yeah, so, so uh, the main reason you can't play Midas Radiant is because the Stone Soldier goes to 2,000 when you flip everything, and that would boost that. And uh, Witch's Apprentice, I don't think you can play that either, because that would lower Mystical Elf. So, yeah. Way to go is Starboard. Flood! Use the Flood cards! <laughs> alright, alright. Give us a little more DP. Alright, next puzzle. Be my guest. Let's do it, guys. Be my guest. Da -da 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 -da. Alright, win in this turn. Hmm. Why well, doubt we'll be able to deck him out. What's this do? Green. Each time a player draws a card, they go. Ah. Okay, okay. Now, Dust Koala inflicts 400 for each card in the opponent's hand. Okay. And this lets him draw until he has seven. Okay. I think I know what I need to do, guys. So, let me just make sure Sasuke, Sasuke Sa Sasuke Samurai number three's effects. Okay. So, we'll attack with Sasuke Samurai three first, making him draw until he has seven cards in his hand. There we go. And now Greed should activate. What? Oh, it's during the end phase. Okay, okay. Sorry. I was just like, what? Why didn't he take the damage? So we'll do Bistro Butcher next. So I'll draw two more. So during the end phase, he should take 2,000 damage. Now, the reason I didn't attack with Desk Koala is because I think it's 
flip effect should do quite a bit of damage here. Get 3,600. Holy crap. Yeah, and he'll take 2,000 burn in the end phase due to greed. So I think we played that one right. Perfect. Perfect. That was an interesting one. That was an interesting one. Good thing Grandpa didn't draw into a Karibo, right? <laughs> All right. Next puzzle. Let's do it. Let's see if we can keep figuring them out. All right. No puzzle number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Puzzle number ten. The Koala Brothers. Delicious. We got the Koala Brothers, guys. All right. Winning this turn. Um. Uh, Interesting. Uh, I don't know what good doing shield and sword does. Uh, hmm. Ah, a level one monster can attack your opponent's life points directly. Hmm. So, I see. All right, so what you want to do here, guys? Creature swap. You may be like, creature swap, why? Why let him take your Master of Laws? Well... Meow, I play copycat. This lets me take a copy of card on your side of the field, Grand Grandpa, and I choose your Master of Oz. Next to activate spell reproduction. By discarding two spell cards, I'm allowed to add one spell card from my graveyard to my hand, and I take Opti Camouflage Armor. Now I equip Opti Camouflage Armor, to my copycat. <laughs> this allows my copycat card to attack you directly this turn. Go copycat, attack grandpa directly and win us the game. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I win, grandpa. Now take off that mask. Show me who you really are. Yeah, that was, I like that one. That was... That was, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right. Number 11. Blueprint for Revenge. Let's do it. All right. Winning this turn. So he's got blue eyes. How can we overcome blue eyes? Block attack. I see. I see. Hmm. Interest. Time machine. Time machine. Okay. So. Let me think here. Huh. Well, now Gaia the Dragon Champion has 2600, right? Okay, well, I think the solution to this you don't want to block attack because then he won't take enough damage. They basically give you two ways to out it, because you can either block attack, and the blue eyes has 2,500 defense, but the better option is the shield and sword, because then he'll take enough damage. Now activate the spell card. Now I activate polymerization. Now I'll fuse my Gaia with my Curse of Dragon. Chaffor, the one and only. Come forth, Gaia. The Dragon Champion! Does this card have a summoning animation? Attack move. Oh, it doesn't. That's sad. But anyway, what you actually want to do is throw your Gemini Elf into Blue Eyes first. That way you can reset its uh, attack stat. Right? Oh, no! But yeah, you have 8,000 life points, so... Yeah, not a big deal. Now... <laughs> Now I activate this. Check this card out, Tweed. It's my time machine. Now I'm gonna fight my Gemini Elf in America. Now my guy on the Dragon Champion, attack his blue eyes. That's that's pretty awesome. I don't think uh, Dragon Champion Gaia ever defeated blue eyes, but we found a way to do it. There we go. <laughs> Just need one of Joey's cards, shield and sword, baby. All right. Good stuff, good stuff. And what time are we at in this one? About 10 minutes? Okay, I think we can keep going. Uh, puzzle number 12. 
fusion combinations. All right, let's try it. Haven't had to consult the uh, win in this turn. Wow, that's it? Oh, okay. Well, obviously with defusion, yeah, you can re-summon the materials. So this one's pretty straightforward. Now I play polymerization. Now I'll combine Joey's Red Eyes Black Dragon with my Song Skull. Take this, Paradox Brothers. Come forth. The ultimate combination of our dicks. Black Skull Dragon. I summon you in attack mode. Go, Black Skull Dragon. Attack Gate Guardian with Molten Fireballs. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. That was a great duel. Paradox Brothers versus Yugi and Joey. Ha! But that's not all, Paradox Brothers. Now I play Defusion. This separates my mon our monsters back into their original forms. Come forth, Red Eyes Black Dragon. And now my summon call. Yeah, go, Red Eyes. Inferno Fire Blast. <laughs> Good job. Now I'll pick off, pick up where Joey left off. Go, summon call. Lightning strike. All right. Put the puzzle down. Man, what a great duel, though. One of my favorite duels in uh, Duel's Kingdom. Uh, all right. Number 13, I think. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. Okay, that's it for the beginning ones. All right, cool, cool, cool. And what time are we at this recording? 12 minutes? Okay. All right, well, with that, let me save state on three. There we go. Okay, well, with that, uh, do I want to end it here? Okay. Uh, yeah, do I want to end it here? Um... Well... I'll tell you what, we'll buy a... F hmm... I could start buying the pets? Or I could start in the next episode. Well, I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, I'll wait until the video's at about, like, 15 minutes or so. So we'll start buying the packs in this episode, and in the next episode, we'll finish. Uh, yeah, let's start with Miracle of Nature. Let's do it. We got 17,259 Kyber Corp points. So let's start putting them to use. Man Eater Bug, that's very, very good. I'm sure you guys know, yeah. Once you flip it, destroy one card on the field. That is pretty good. All right, Miracle of Nature. Let's keep going. Great White, pretty good. Baseline. Dragon Zombie, Dragon Zombie. Pretty good in the Gravity Bind deck since it's level three and it's it's attack is pretty high for a level three monster. It's 1600. So anyway, let's keep going. And I'm not gonna save scum these packs or anything. We've got we've got a huge amount of Capricorn points. So at this point, I, I really won't be safe scumming any of the packs. Uh, Petite Moth, that's good. You can combine that with the uh, Cocoon of Evolution to try to summon the card on the pack cover of this pack, uh, the Great Moth. So, eh, basic insect, yeah. No rare in that one. But Drain Cloud's pretty good. Pretty good. Again, Drain Cloud's also pretty good in the Gravity Bind deck because it's level 3, so it can still attack. And then while your opponent can't attack, you can just kind of put in an attack. Oh, Ultra Rare, Judge Man, 2200. Yeah, it's pretty good. But yeah, in a Gravity Bind deck, you know, it's kind of protected. So then you can kind of, uh, you know, use its effects, switch to defense mode, and take out your opponent's, you know, bigger stuff. So there you go. Wicked Worm Beast. Yeah. Return to your hand at the end of your turn. Ah, Wicked Worm Beast, the original spirit monster. All right, Shadows in the Labyrinth, let's do it. Let's see what we can get, guys, if we can get anything good. Wolf. Labyrinth tank. Oh, by the way, yeah, now that we're buying packs, I think I can go back to the regular view here. Yeah, there we go, there we go, okay. So we'll buy the next pack. Yeah, because you guys can still see the screen, I think, yeah. 
Burning Spear, Silver Fang, Eat a Bagoon, you spell. Got us in the third eye. So none of those were meant. Yeah, D spell is honestly kind of helpful though, especially early on. Uh, you know, if you don't have a spell and trap removal. All right, Hero Shadow Scout, kind of useful in a uh, a deck out strategy. And Shadow Goal is actually pretty good. It, can, it the attack set on that can get pretty high. So, yeah. all right, nothing new there. Let's see, next pack. Let's go. Dark Energy. Battle Ox is honestly pretty solid. Inukazi is good burn damage, so there you go. And of course, Umi. Ah, oh, we didn't have this card before. That's good. I'm glad we got it. Yeah, I'm sure you guys know. Gotta go over the Fluid cards, but yeah, increases uh, Fish, Sea Serpent, Thunder, and Aqua. So it basically increases all Fluid cards and dec also decreases Machine and Pyros. So, there you go. Last pack for Shadows in the Labyrinth here. And we're at 16 minutes. I think we can keep going. And ooh, Kazajin, one of the gate guardian pieces. Nice, nice. Yep. All right, that's the weakest one, but it's still pretty good. All right, red eyes packs time, guys. Let's see if we can get any new cards here. Uh, Amoeba. Amoeba's on honestly hilarious with creature swap. Hilarious. Uh, also, Firewing Pegasus is. Uh, I'm sure you guys remember that from the old, the old deck. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Garudamon! You know. <laughs> Ooh, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Wow, I think that definitely might be new. Uh, no, it's not. But yeah, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon is honestly a really solid fusion, and I would highly recommend it. Because if you can manage to get three Thunder Dragons, the Thunder Dragon search themselves out. And, and there are plenty of ways to search for polymerization. So, yeah, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Uh, oh, the Launcher Spider's new. That's cool. But yeah, Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. If you can manage to get it that early in the game and three Thunder Dragons, which I guess that's kind of asking a lot. But yeah, if you can manage to get it, I would highly, highly recommend it because that way it's not so much of a minus, you know, when you fuse. And it's pretty solid. It's got uh, 2,800 attack points. So. And that's the problem with uh, some fusions, is that you have to worry about, you know, not drawing the materials, but Thunder Dragon's so good, because it searches itself out. And even if you don't get polymerization, you can always, like, use the effects of Thunder Dragon, and then, like, discard it for, like, something like, I don't know, like, Grateful Charity or something. So, pretty solid overall. overall. I really like the Thunder Dragon fusions. All right, so I think we'll finish off with uh, Flight to New World here. And then, yeah, we'll finish opening these, and in the next episode, we will continue opening packs. So, here we go. Uh, Flu of Summoning Dragon, honestly pretty good. Let you special summon two dragons, of course. Alright, next pet, we're down to 14,709. <laughs> no, we still got plenty. Beyond Quito. Alright. Honestly, out of all these, I would recommend Beyond Quito, especially for Shadow Games, you know, just to give you an extra little cushion of life points. Uh, 200, yeah, that's good. Honestly, good on the first turn of the duel. That's a thousand free damage, so there you go. All right, Flight to New World, Giant Fleet. Wow, we haven't gotten that yet? That's interesting. Meteor Dragon, that's nice. I'm sure you guys know. That uh, red eyes confused with this to make meteor B dragon man one of one of the most powerful early game fusions. All right, dragon seeker, seeker, rogue doll, mystical sheep, another flute. I don't think we got anything new in that. One. Let's see. No. All right, and last pack, guys. Last pack. Hopefully, we get something good here. Coach Kosi. Ooh, Princess of Sarugi honestly is pretty good. She can put out a lot of burn damage. Uh, no new cards. Okay. So yeah, in the next episode, we will start by opening the packs. Uh, Broken Sealed. Uh, yeah. We'll do Inherited Will. Got a couple there. Infinite Illusion. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, and we got a lot of legendary history, so. Yeah, yeah, so we got a lot of packs to open. That's good. So, yeah, in the next episode, guys, uh, we will continue opening packs with all the branding I've been doing. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, let me save and state three and four. Three and four. And I, like I said, I don't want to hard save until I know, yeah, until I know I've got everything, you know, kind of in order. But yeah, we will continue in the next episode. Oh, sorry, I killed the music. In the next episode, and in between episodes, I'm basically going to transfer these first uh, couple of recordings to my computer. And start uploading them and then then I'll delete them from my phone and we'll go from there so yeah thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you all next time <laughs> and have a good day all right back to the new I heard you go ahead